One thing that I have come to realize, it takes sometimes many little steps to actually step into success instead of it happening all at once. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everybody. If you have been following what I've been up to, um, I've been kind of uh, making these baby steps to try and get a bit of a side hustle at this point, uh, a motorcycle shop going. So one thing I noticed recently, I was uh, working on my uh, old 4Runner. I've got about 375,000 miles on it. So it was in need of a new head. I replaced that recently. When I started, of course, you know, 375,000 miles, the bolts were all really hard to get off. So I just thought, well, I'm just gonna crack them loose with a, uh, a torque wrench uh, or a breaker bar and just started on the first one. You get that pressure and you're just waiting for that crack. And I just kept putting more and more pressure on it and ended up snapping the head off of it. Of course, I was really cautious after I did that. I sprayed them all with WD. I um, kind of, you know, hammered them, tapped them. And, and then I got my impact wrench and put it on there and gently started all of them. And they all, all the rest of them came off easy after that. And thinking back on that analogy, it takes sometimes many little steps to actually step into success instead of it happening all at once. When you break a bolt loose, it's rusted. It's got all kinds of, of debris, who knows what. It's crusty. All the elements that it has been exposed to all of this time is holding the whole thing in place. All those little things that you do, like spraying it, tapping it, you know, with the impact wrench even, um, even though an impact wrench, when you apply it, hammers it very quickly. Each time it hammers it, it torques and then relaxes and then torques and then relaxes. Those little incremental movements are actually what break all of those little things loose and free over time. Not all at once, like the steady pressure of a torque wrench. And I think starting a business now, this is gonna be technically the fourth small business that I've been involved with. Looking back, I can see that pattern that success comes in a multitude of incremental movements. And even if you don't know what to do, doing something is better than nothing. One of my other harebrained ideas was a sportswear company. What was interesting about that was we didn't know really where to begin without giving you a bunch of boring details. One of the first things we did was just go to a town that was not too far away. It was actually Moab, Utah. We kind of got a feel for some of the stores and talked to the people that, that owned those types of stores that would be selling those types of products and just talked to them. And there was a lot of these little kind of seemingly meaningless steps. What was funny was it ended up that those steps did move us forward but not in the ways that we always thought they were going to. In the long run, those little movements attracted other opportunities to us. They were effective in ways that we hadn't really foreseen. Just do what's right in front of you. I noticed that I always crave, especially with businesses and when I'm pursuing some kind of success or effort, be it going to school, be it uh, a relationship issue, anything, I always want results to come really quickly. So one of the things I did that's kind of in the vein of just putting all this effort into a real fast, trying to get it done in one motion. I purchased an old pickup. Part of it was I, I liked the truck. I used to have one and I was kind of attached to that. But also I was hoping because there's a good market for them right now and I found one at a really good price that I would kind of get this done quickly, flip it and put some extra cash in my pocket. Instead of going with my original plan, which was a, a cheaper plan, it was one I already had a vehicle for and getting all the parts and stuff to do what I wanted to with it wasn't gonna be that expensive. But I was looking for that 
winning the lottery ticket moment. I was looking to make things happen quicker, just like cracking that bolt loose with the torque wrench. I ended up biting off more than, not that I can chew, but more than I wanted to. Shooting myself on the foot. I always look for that major lightning bolt winning the lottery moment where you go, oh, I made it. And when you're involved in some new undertaking or some new endeavor, that's not usually what gets you there. It's usually all those incremental little things that you do that finally move things forward. Really lasting results always seem like they, they always take time. So I guess my takeaway is learn from my mistakes. Success comes from tons of little small positive movements, not some big lightning bolt moment that all of a sudden makes everything easy. So that's gonna do it for this go around. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what we're doing, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.